you moved to London first, right? Yeah. Um, look, there was lots of ups and downs in my career. There were, I moved to London. I joined a group over there called... Um, a terrible name called Fishbowl. Fish. <laughs> um, and it was three guys and me. We finished an album, you know, had picked the first single and we'd signed to a big major record label over there and then the group fell apart. Why? How come? They started fighting. They, fighting? They, the guys, not me. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm innocent. I just wanted this to work, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but um, there was some complications and they kind of fell apart and it kind of just, it just didn't work out. It just wasn't meant to be. What sort yeah. of music was it? It was um, the group. I the great best way to describe it was Arrested Development, Fuji's that type of feel. But there was a DJ in there who was a dance club house DJ, and so there was a fusion of reggae and R and B, and dance and house music which was way before its time, it, like people weren't doing it back then. I know now it's like very R&B, house music, it's all kind of come together. Yeah. But back then that hadn't been done and it was great music. It was, it was a great album. It's, it's such a shame that no one's going to ever hear it. But are there songs used from the album? I mean... No, no, that was it. That was it. I mean, I wouldn't use it personally on my own. It'd be, you know, if, you know, doing something on my own, like... I, th I work better by myself because I have my own visions as well. Yeah. You know, being part of a group, you have to compromise your creativity in a sense that, you know, um, you might have ideas that other people don't like, so you've got to compromise. But being on my own now, I'm much better off. I, you know, I know what I want, I know what I want it to sound like, or, you know, and I have my own ideas and I can go through with it. I don't have to say, oh, okay, I'll compromise on this or this. I just do it the, my way, and I, I much prefer it that way. Maybe I'm a little controlling, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Um, but is there one thing that you learned from the band, maybe, that you...? Um, yes, one of the guys was a, was a DJ, and he taught me, the, you know, when everything had crumbled, and it was literally the worst time of my life. You know, I was in London, a big city, broke. Um, my career was over, which it felt like it was over. And because I'd moved from, away from home straight after high school and taken the risks and worked extremely hard and then got to this point where I thought, this is it. What, you know? time, what time period are we, are we talking about? Um, it'd be about seven years ago. No, yeah, seven, eight years ago. And I thought, this is it. You know, this is going to work. This is my time, you know, and it all fell apart. And I, when it fell apart, it wasn't like I still had connections or it felt like I'd you know, still built up um, a situation where I can still keep going. It felt like I was right down rock bottom, you know, and um, I didn't know what to do. You know, I, I didn't want to go to university. I didn't want to do something I wasn't passionate about. I didn't want to be stuck doing something for the rest of my life that was like I had to do just to, just to make money. I didn't want to be like that. Because you live once. The way I see it yeah. is you live once. You know, when I'm on my deathbed, I, don't want, I, I know I'm not going to be regretting the things that I did. I'm going to regret the things I didn't do, you know, yeah. and the risks I didn't take. That's the things I'm going to regret. And, you know, so I try and limit that and just go for what I'm passionate about. And it's worked out for me, you know. So the one thing that you learned, there was a DJ in the group. So how did he learn you to DJ? What did he do? Um, well, he encouraged. Well, the thing is, I had an idea. I hadn't even thought of it before that. I was out clubbing every single night because I was so depressed, and that was a great way for me to just kind of forget about what's going on and enjoy music and dance and enjoy friends. And you know, um, that, that's where I came up with. I saw the DJ, and I was like, you know, why don't I do that? You know, that that's a great job. I want to do that. And the next morning, I went and. Um, I uh, went to his place, the, the DJ, Panos his name is, went to his place and I said, I'm thinking about DJing. And I thought he was going to laugh at me, but he didn't. He actually said, that is a brilliant idea. I think you'll be great at it. And he literally then and there, he taught me the basic skills and of what you're meant to be doing as a DJ, <laughs> what you are doing, like what it is that they are doing behind those decks. Why, why did he think that you well, could actually do it? I don't know, I guess he knew me, you know, and he knew um, 
that I was passionate about music and you know obviously he go he did say you know you either get it or you won't you know some people just get it mm -hmm. and I feel like it just I connected with it connected with it straight away and um, as soon as I started DJing I felt like things just flowed for me and things started to fall into place and I felt like this is the path that I was meant to be on and everything that happened before led me to this point that I am in right now and you know I'm extremely happy.